Alright guys, so today uh, I just want to show you guys what I've got here. This is a Galaxy S4 and I'm going to show you guys how to root this device today. The reason I'm showing you this screen is because you cannot have this turned on when you're rooting your device, your Galaxy S4. So we need to get into our settings and make sure we turn off all of our security. So again, like I say, Galaxy S4 right here, this is basically fully stock. Um, so let's go ahead and get into security and let's go ahead and do a couple things. Uh, in security right here we're gonna make sure we check the unknown sources. I don't think this is necessary for root but if you want to install other applications a lot of times with stuff you do with hacking you need to have that enabled so I just go ahead and enable it. Um, so we got that set up and then let's go ahead and the other thing I want to show you how to do is we're gonna go into uh, your up, uh, about phone here and I'm going to show you how to turn on developer settings and I know it's hard to see these letters but right here where it says uh, build number I want you to just keep tapping on it. You see what it's saying down there? It says you are, you don't need to, you're already in developer mode but if you're not you need to tap it like about 10 times and when you back out you're going to have this option right here developer options. So you're going to click on it you're going to turn on developer options at the top and then you're going to hit right here and check USB debugging and allow mock locations. Get both of those things also checked. All right. Um, so now you got those two done. <laughs> we're going to go right over here to uh, lock screen. And here's where we're going to go ahead and change our lock. So lock screen is with pattern. And we're going to redo my pattern so we can get out of it and you want uh, lock screen to be swipe so it just means you just swipe across the screen to unlock the screen so swipe which is the way it comes stock and now your lock screen looks like this and then you just swipe across and it unlocks it so that's the way you want it because you want this thing basically to be the way it was when you got it stock as much as much as you can with those other USB debugging turned on and those other little features turned on and now that we've got this uh, let's go over to my computer. Um, we're going to go over to my computer and let's show you guys the directions on how to uh, root the Galaxy S4. Okay, so here is all the files you're going to need. I put them all into a, a folder here so you guys can see them all. It's pretty pretty easy. Um, so what you're going to download is you're actually going to download these five files right here. Okay, um, These two are actually these, these two full zips right here. These are zips. And once you, once you extract them, you should have another folder that has everything that was in these zips on, in this folder. Um, or you can do it on your desktop, it really doesn't matter. But um, don't leave these things zipped up and try to use them. It doesn't function. You know, If you click on them and it opens up a window and then you go in here and you try to run this, it's not going to function. You have to extract it. Like right here, this is extract. This is 7-zip. Um, or whatever you're using to extract it and you have to end up with two folders so it's very important a lot of people don't do it and they it doesn't work um, so what we're going to need to do right now is you got to run this right here this is uh, Samsung drivers install so you go ahead and run it um, I've already done it I'm not going to do it right now but you go ahead and run that again all these files are going to be in the video description down below so go ahead and run this right here and when it's done we're going to plug in our phone and uh, set up our drivers. It's a very important step to do. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Just plug in the phone. Plugs in. And your computer is going to make some noise and it's going to install the drivers. So let it sit there and install those drivers for just uh, just a little bit here. Shouldn't take too long to do. Alright. Um, once those drivers are installed uh, probably it's going to take maybe up to three minutes. So give it a little, just give it a little time. Once they're installed, you want to scroll this down, and you want to go to right here, okay? And then you want to turn on each of these modes, um, and it'll install different drivers when you do that. So you'll turn on that mode, then you'll turn on this other mode, and um, and it installs different drivers for both modes. You want to make sure all those drivers get installed correctly. Uh, once they're all done, now you've got your driver set up for this device because you have ADB turned on, so that's going to get installed with when you do those other those other drivers. So that is uh, the setup for the drivers. Once you have the drivers installed, 
we can move on to the next procedure. So let's go back to my computer. Uh, go ahead and uh, set the phone down with it plugged in like this. Really quick before we go over the computer, let me just show you guys this really quick. Um, if we go into about phone and we look at our kernel, which is right here, it tells you that it is a kernel which is 3.4.0-5622219. That is the standard kernel you're on right now. We're going to flash an old kernel, kernel to allow us to get root access. So that kernel should change right there. Okay, so just be aware of it. That's what we're going to do next. Let's go back to the computer. Okay, so over here on the computer, what we're going to do is we've got our drivers installed. we got all of our files right here. We're going to go ahead and open Odin, and this is Odin version 3.07. And go ahead and open this program up, and you should have this. Now, it shows that your device is connected right here, but we need to get into download mode on the device. But first, let's go ahead and let's find the file we're going to flash. Um, actually, no, let's go into Odin first. So let me show you that on the, on the phone. Okay, guys, to so get into Odin, what you're going to do, and it's also very important you have good battery life before you do any of these steps. Very important. But to get into Odin, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and power off the device. Hit OK. And Odin is also uh, download mode on your, on your phone. So to do this, i got to use two hands normally. What we're going to do is we're going to hold our home button, our volume down button, on the side and our power button. So just hold them all three and <clears throat> just give it a second here. Okay, so here we go. That is the warning that it gives you um, and asks you basically if you want to enter download mode. So to do it, to cancel, just hit volume down and it'll reset your phone or restart your phone. Or to get into download mode, you just hit volume up. And this is download mode right here, so you can flash with Odin, and we're going to make sure our cable is plugged in. I had to unplug my cable to get into Odin, it was being kind of goofy for me. So we're in Odin here, cable's plugged in, we can set this down and go back to our Odin program on the computer. Alright, so right here you can see that we're on uh, COM port uh, 4 right there. And that's very important, that means that the device is connected to the computer and the computer can see it, so it's very important. These two things are checked, it's the standard checked when the program opens, so make sure they are. Uh, we're going to go to PDA, and we're going to find the file we want to uh, flash, which is actually, if I can find my uh, desktop here, somewhere, desktop, and here, and we're going to flash this file. This is the one of the files you're going to be downloading, and it is um, an old version of your kernel. This is your current kernel, which we're going to flash back, but first we've got to flash this older version. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on it and hit open. And it's actually going to do a couple things right here. Um, it kind of checks out this kernel, says it's valid. Checks the MD5 was successful, it means it's good. And it's leaving that mode. Okay. So now we've got all this set like this. We're in download mode on our phone. Everything's looking good so far. Shabam. And we're going to go ahead and hit start. Alright, so it's doing a couple things right here. You can see it did some stuff right there, it reset it, did a couple little 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 blurbs, and our phone is now rebooting. So that is the process to flash this kernel, this old kernel that allows us to get root access. Okay? Um, I'm going to let this boot up and then we'll go on to the actual rooting of this device now that we have a kernel in there that's able to get, get root access on. Okay? okay, we're booted up here, let's go to about phone. And just show you really quick, here we are, there it is. There's our kernel now, you can see it's got that new number on it. Um, and it's a little dimmed out, but it's got the new number that we just flashed. Everything's successful, device is booting, everything looks good. Alright, let's check out what we're going to do to root this. So we'll just leave it just like it is, everything's plugged in. And uh, let's go ahead and go over to uh, the computer again. Alright, go ahead and close uh, Odin. We'll close it out. We'll back out of this window. We're going to go back to here. So now we're going to actually run to Moto Chopper. And we're going to go ahead and click on this run right here. So click on run. This discusses what's going on. So it says, basically says press enter to root your phone. So we're going to go ahead and press enter. And it's waiting for device. It's going to run through a couple little things here. Um, it should be really pretty simple to do. You have ADB turned on, all that stuff is set up. 
So um, just let it run. Everything should say it's you know successful as it's going along. Now it asks you for this right here. So you have to say right here. Just go ahead and hit accept. And hopefully it'll finish. There you go. I hit accept. And we'll go back to the computer. And it's finishing up. Everything says it was good. Split complete. Press enter to reboot. And it's it now even says this, which is interesting. Right here it says, to protect your device, it is recommended you reboot. So... Yeah, we can go ahead and actually hit reboot now. There we go. So press any key to continue on our computer. And we're going to let this thing reboot. And we'll show you guys that you have root access now. Okay, so this is interesting. It just switched over and then did that and said installing system update. And now it's rebooting. I'm not sure what that means. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so let's see what happens with that situation. That was a little bit funky. Um, so let me see what happens when this thing reboots. Uh, I was definitely not expecting that installing system update. That little Android guy right there for a second. That was a little, little funky. Um, so let's check this out when it finishes booting up. Okay, we booted up. Uh, this is just because I don't have a sim in it. Don't worry about it. Anything can happen on your phone. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's see what happened here. I mean, I'm not sure if I have root access or not. So let's see what what we got here. Well, da, da, da. interesting. Up oh, there it is. All right. It's like, shoo, Where's this thing at? So right here, there is super user. So it needs to update the binaries. Go ahead and hit continue. Say normal. Successfully updated. Say thanks. And then last thing we're going to do is just go ahead and download root checker. So we'll open that up. Here we go. We agree to the terms of the application. Hit OK. And then right here it says verify root access. We'll hit it. And grant it. And shabam there you go congratulations this device has root access so I don't know why you hit into that recovery that was a little funky to me um, but obviously works fine with doing that um, but there you go that's it now you have root access on this device now last but not least if you want to get back to fully back to stock let's go ahead and get back into download mode and restore our actual kernel on this device and we but now but make sure you did all the updates through uh, um, super user because if you don't do those updates like I did when I opened the application that is not going to work right so where we should be good to go um, let me actually check one last thing really quick and let's go in here and make sure we have the latest super user or super sue based on the market and we don't so we're going to update that also um, that's just a good thing to have uh, everything as much up to date as you possibly can so that's all done clear all this out all right we're good so let's get back into download mode um, and we'll flash that uh, original kernel back. Okay, back in uh, this warning sign here for download mode, which again, like I told you before, was uh, volume down, home, and power. And we're going to go volume up, get you into download mode, connect your cable. There may be some drivers that install during this step, so be patient and be ready for that. And let's set this down and go back to Odin on the computer. Okay, so we're going to back out of this root file right here. Go back to Odin and open it. Again, you can see we're connected. These two are checked. Go to PDA and pick the original kernel right here, the 562219. And it checks it, it verifies it, shows it over here. That's all finished. We're still in download mode on our phone, Galaxy S4. And start blankety blanks flashing boot up here reset okay boom boom bam removed and now it does say this because it thinks this is a custom uh, a custom kernel now which it's not but it's not an issue you're going to be back to stock on this thing and actually I think with triangle away you can actually clear that off even 
So let's let this boot up. And uh, let's go ahead and unplug our cable. And we can open it up. Again, I just don't have a SIM in here right now. Um, so let's go ahead and scroll back up to settings. About phone. And make sure our kernel is back to where it was. And it is. So we're back to that new kernel. Um, we should still have root access with super user right here, which we still have right there. Super user is all good. We should be able to even check with this again, and it has it. So that's it. You are running all the stock official firmware, and you have root access on this device. So there you go. That is how to get root access on the Galaxy S4. That's the long version because I wanted to give you guys lots of detail on it. So you, nobody can mess this thing up. It should be very, very pretty simple how to do it. Um, hope you guys like this video. Please stay tuned for a bunch more videos on the Galaxy S4 and a lot of good good information is going to be coming down the pipeline on this thing. Also, I'm doing a giveaway right now on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus if you want to check me out on any of those. Right over here on the side is my Facebook and Twitter. And uh, right up here is rootjunkie.com. This is my site. I got lots of great information on here also for this device and many others. Please check me out. Uh, as always, have a good time. Uh, good one, guys, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.